Hi, it's me. I really miss you. Call me when you get this. I wish you the following best describes your marital status. Married, okay. never married, de facto, living together, separated, oh, but still married, no, divorced, no, or widowed. Thanks. Thanks. Occupation of the main income owner of the household? It, it'll only take a few minutes for you to make sure we have it. Yes? Hello? Hi, uh, my name's John. I'm calling from uh, Richardson Market Research. We're just doing a survey about toothpaste. I, I don't want to buy any. No, 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 we're not selling any. We're, um, you know, just want to ask a few questions. Oh, all right. Thanks. Uh, Only take a few minutes. Um, firstly, just to make sure we continue a good cross-section. I um, do have to ask a few questions about yourself. Uh, which of the following age brackets do you best fit into? Uh, 18 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, 45 to 18 to 24. Yes, that sounds about right. And uh, which of the following best describes your marital status? Uh, married, never married, de facto living together, separated but still married, uh, divorced or widowed? Happily married. Great. And um, occupation of the main income earner of the household? He's a company director. Um, do you have any children? Yes, just one. Great. Uh, and do they still live at home? No, not anymore. Uh, right, over the past few weeks, which brand of toothpaste have you been using? I'm sorry, this really is taking too long. I'm far too busy. No. Is Alex there? Who is this? I'm his mother. Please put Alex on. Alexander, it's your mummy. Yeah? Hello, my dear son. It's lovely to see you. How are you? I'm really broke. Oh? I lost my job at the Harker Market. It wasn't my fault. Never mind. I always thought that you should look for better employment. Yeah, but, Mum, that could take time and, and meanwhile I haven't got any money. I'll put funds into your account immediately. Well, well, two thousand, you know? Yeah, thanks, Mum. Can you make it, uh, can you make it five? You know, just in case. It, it, it's been such a long time since I've seen you. Maybe in between practising the guitar. You could come and visit your mother. Yeah, yeah, well, say it's my birthday next month. How'd you uh, like to take me out for dinner? OK. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. All right, Mum, well, I better go because the guys want to do another song. See ya.
So to squeeze any money out of your old lady? Yeah. All right, now we can eat. Pizza. I know the best place. Yeah, Alex pays. Yeah, okay. What's the number? The number is triple five zero four three two seven. Good afternoon, Oceanic Chemical Corporation. Oceanic what? Um, I want to place an order. Do you want our accounts department? Not sure. Um, I want a large family-sized barbecue chicken pizza with um, extra cheese. Chicken? Yeah, and uh, garlic bread. Look, I think you've got the wrong number. Okay, sorry. Um, see ya. Goodbye. Good afternoon, Oceanic Chemical Corporation. One moment, please. Mr. Crombie, call on line three. Hello, Susie. Hi, Susie. Mr. Clark? Please, Susie, call me Eddie. I've got work that has to be done. It can wait. Why don't we call it a day and go have a drink? Look, he asked me to finish it before I leave. And besides... Besides what? We've discussed all this before. But you know how I feel. I don't care. I'm not getting involved with a married man. But it's a loveless marriage. Mr Clark, I don't want to hear any of this. Please leave me alone. I can't. (laughs) I'm obsessed. At least come and have dinner. No way. What would your wife think about all this? Oh, I don't care what she thinks. There's another call. I have to put you on hold. Let it ring. Yes? Hello, Mrs Clark? Yes, who's that? This is Susan from your husband's office. Oh, yes. Is anything the matter? There's something I think you should hear. Please stay silent on the phone for just a moment. Hello, I'm back. Well, what about dinner? I don't think we should. Oh, come on. We'll have a beautiful dinner, some French champagne. Then we can get a suite at the Hilton. But what about Mrs Clark? Well, I'll tell her I'm on a business trip. Why do you keep mentioning the silly old slag? Anyway, she's old and she's ugly and I detest her. Edward! What's going on? What is this? Maureen? Maureen, is that you? I don't understand. Mrs Clark, do you see what type of man you've married? You bitch! Oceanic Chemical Corporation. Yes, halfway here. From the Melbourne office? Yes. I've got some sales data to upload to the server, but I've lost today's code. This stuff's pretty urgent. Okay. Uh, the number's 476-291-381. Thanks. Maureen, it's Eddie. Yeah, look, honey, yeah, I know. No, it was only it was only a joke. I know it wasn't funny. Sugar, look, you're the most important thing in my computer. Mill residents, Amanda speaking. 
Bonjour, Amanda. It's Eve. May I speak to your mama? Hi, Eve. Sorry, mum had to go out. Oh, Merst. I really need to talk to her. Could you please ask Julie to call when she returns? What's wrong, Eve? Oh, nothing. Nothing you understand. Is it boy problems? Well, oui, it is. Yeah, boys can be a problem. Thing is, two people should never expect to spend their entire lives together. If it happens, great, fantastic. You're very lucky, but if not, you have to move on. Remember all the good times and learn from the mistakes. Ooh la la, Amanda. You are only 11. Where do you get all this stuff? I'm almost 12 and I read a lot of magazines. How many boyfriends have you had? Heaps. Well, one or two. Three if you count Mickey, but we only kissed once and even then I think he only wanted my chewy. You know, Mandy, what you said makes a lot of sense. I not know if I spend a lifetime with... I... I mean, he is a magnificent guy, but... Yeah, life is a long time. And life is too short to spend with someone you don't love. Oui. I think I know what I have to do. I know you'll do the right thing, Eve. I'll get Mum to call you when she gets back. Merci, Mandy. You are a très together kid. <laughs> Pardon, I mean young woman. I'm going to call him now. Bravo, Amanda, ma petite darling. Bye, Eve. Good luck. I can't talk right now, so you're speaking to an android clone of me. <laughs> Please uh, leave a message and I'll get right back to you. Sean, it's Eve. This is a really odd call for me to make. I want to break it off. I am so sorry. We were not meant for each other. I... I don't want you to call me. I suppose this is goodbye. Bye.